C. Lindelof videos the fundamental trigonometric identities. If you're going to try to solve identities or establish identities or verify identities, there are some things that you've got to have with you, and those are these. You have to have, you have, to have memorized the quotient identities. So these are the quotient IDs. And it simply says that tan theta is the same as sine theta over cosine theta. What's important about that is that you're allowed to use it as a replacement identity. So any place that you see tan theta, you can take out tan theta and put this in instead. If you see tan squared theta, you can take tan squared theta out and put this in, thing in squared. So it's really, really important. Then is the cotan of theta is cosine theta over sine theta. What I'm hoping that you're doing, or that you're going to do, is make flashcards or whatever it takes for you to memorize these things. So here are those first two, and they're called the quotient IDs. Then come the reciprocal IDs, reciprocal IDs. And the reciprocal IDs are really straightforward. It's cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. Secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. And lastly, that cotan theta is equal to 1 over tan theta. And again, the point here is that we can replace any place that we find cosecant theta, we can replace it with 1 over sine theta or vice versa. Really, really important. The last three identities are the ones that I think are at least as important as any others, and they're called the Pythagorean identities. Pythagorean IDs. And the first one is the obvious one that most students know, which is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Please, when you're looking at this, think about this, that you can move this around. For example, you could say that cosine squared theta is the same as 1 minus sine squared theta. You could just use some algebra here. So remember that you can use algebraic manipulation any time on this stuff. Uh, the other ones that you should know are that tan squared theta plus 1 is the same as secant squared theta. And again, you can manipulate that using algebra. And lastly is the cotan theta. So cotan squared theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant squared theta. Yeah? The last identities I really want you to have, so hopefully you've stopped and gone through whatever, written these things down, because once you can do this, you can get this thing done. These are called the even-odd identities, so they're called even-odd. They're really simple. It says this, that sine of opposite theta is the same as opposite sine theta. I could talk about this all day. What's best, if you go to your unit circle and take a look, this one says that cosine of opposite theta is the same as cosine theta. And the last one is that cotan, you know, let's use tan, that tan theta, that tan opposite theta is equal to opposite tan of theta. Again, these are replacement values. And then you just put their reciprocals in and they have the same relationship. So the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So cosecant of opposite theta is the same as opposite cosecant of theta. Again, I'm going to say it again. Check out your unit circle. Secant of opposite theta is the same as secant of theta. So you can drop those negative signs. And lastly, cotan of opposite theta is the same as opposite cotan theta. This is maybe the most boring video I've ever done, and I apologize profusely. But if you ever want to be really good at this, this is what you have to know. You have to have this stuff memorized. And then all the other identity stuff becomes a lot easier because when you get stuck, you ask yourself the question, what can I replace this with? Well, you can replace tan with this, cotan with this, etc. ad nauseum. So I hope this is really helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching.